This week, we're at the Bronx Zoo to check out the wild side of New York City. my time in New York was quickly coming to an end, my mom and I decided to head to the Bronx Zoo to check out how some of the residents were enjoying the cold. Some, like these very vocal sea lions, were having a ball. Others, like these rhinos, preferred to spend their time indoors. Block of hay in the center? That's a hay man, a snowman made out of hay and alfalfa. Keepers put out for the rhinos as a source of enrichment while they have to spend their time indoors. However, as interested as the rhinos were in their treat, there was a large crowd of people around the enclosure, and every time one of the rhinos would go near the hay, the crowd would cheer excitedly. Now, rhinos are extremely nearsighted, and loud noises tend to startle them. So, when they heard this cheering and couldn't see where it was coming from, they became more cautious and backed away. See the set of teeth on that crocodile? In the animal world, big, pointy teeth like that usually mean one thing. I eat meat. An animal whose diet relies solely on meat is called a carnivore. Their teeth evolved in such a way so they can bite, tear flesh, and gulp their food down quickly. Other carnivores at the zoo included one of my favorite canines, the African wild dogs, the big cats such as the lions, the tigers, the snow leopard, and the black panther as well as river otters, snakes, and the Magellanic penguins. Well, behind me right now are North American grizzly bears, which are subspecies of the brown bear. Now, despite their ferocious reputation, a favorite snack of these guys are actually not hikers and campers, but roots, berries, and other vegetation. That's because these guys are omnivores, meaning that they can survive on a diet of not only meat, but vegetation as well, just like us. Us also includes other primates featured at the zoo. Say ah in front of a mirror and check out your teeth. Our teeth are extremely similar to the omnivores in the wild world. In the front, there are thin, flat bottom teeth coupled with pointy canines that give us the ability to tear not only flesh but vegetation as well. In the back, our square, flat molars give us the ability to grind and chew our food before swallowing to aid in digestion. Sitting behind me is a tree kangaroo. Now these guys, native to New Guinea, are herbivores. Herbivores mean these guys can live completely off of plants. These are your vegetarians. This one happens to be one of my favorites. Herbivores are strict vegetarians. Their bodies are unable to process and digest flesh. Their teeth have also evolved mainly to be able to chew and grind on plant life. Generally, the teeth of herbivores are large and flat, with variations in ridging along the top. Their digestive systems are complex because what plants are made up of, cellulose, is extremely difficult to break down. Vegetarians I visited at the zoo included not only the tree kangaroo, but the rhinos we saw earlier, as well as giraffes, who had also been moved indoors due to the cold weather. One reason I really enjoy visiting the Bronx Zoo is their commitment to the wild world. The Wildlife Conservation Society has groups on every continent working to spread knowledge about the wonderful creatures and habitats we share our world with. You cannot walk more than a few feet in the Bronx Zoo without running into some source of information urging you to reach out and care for our planet Earth. Along with their commitment to wildlife conservation, they are extremely dedicated to providing as much as a wild-like home for their animals. They rescue most of their species from illegal trade or breeding, unfit ownership, as well as life or death situations in the wild. They also run several breeding programs that are working to re-establish wild populations. Well, guys, it's time for me to go. I hope you all enjoyed the Bronx Zoo, and we'll see you next week here in the wild.